Venus Williams press conference is underway after her straight set win over Lena Dementieva in the semifinals. Let's listen into that. You were uh, jumping up and down like a little kid out there. What what was going through your mind? Well, I mean, I guess it started to set in a little bit um, about being in the final, which is always exciting. And when I'm excited, I always jump. <laughs> and that, I guess, will never change. Um, but still, I, I felt like the tournament was not over. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the doubles tomorrow and still have that final match to play and still one step further. So it was definitely would like to celebrate even more if I'm good enough to take that title. Grace, do you ever feel like jumping up and down during the middle of the match? Because you're pretty contained out there until after you win. You don't fist yeah, pump Yeah, I'm really much. contained. I mean, I don't fist pump a lot because I expect to win the point. So it's not like I'm, if I win the point that it's like something that I wasn't expecting. So that's why I don't fist pump a ton. I mean, there's definitely some points where you know, you need that point and it's just exhilarating. And for me, that's when the pump comes. But if I'm feeling up or down, no one can tell. You, it's, I can hardly tell. So I just stay even keel no matter what. Yes, Serena said if you play, she's going to steal your breakfast and, and uh, but have some fun. What kind of match do you expect between the two of you? She's leading 5 2. It's raining, obviously, but it looks like she'll win. What, what, what? sort of tactics and strategy? Um, obviously, I rely on my serve a lot. It's just when I get it going, it, it helps me out a ton. I think being able to go out there and return really well will be key for me. I'll definitely use my speed. And as always, to win a title, you got to play aggressive and not just hope that your opponent misses. So all of those things. Force the issue. Always, every day. Venus, will you and Serena talk any more or any less between now and the final than you would normally? No, just normal. How have you seen her change in the last few years, both personally and as a player? What, what differences do you see in Serena? Well, I think that we um, share even more things together off the court. Um, we definitely rely on each other's advice even more. Um, you know, I was a big sister and I was kind of like, you never made mistakes, so then I think sometimes I put pressure on her, I like to be perfect too. And not that I'm perfect, but you know I'm just really like a nerd. So <laughs> she wasn't exactly that way. So I think we both now know our roles in the relationship, and we support each other. But away from the relationship, just her away from Venus as a person and as a player. Have you seen her mature? Or how has she changed? I definitely, I think she's definitely matured in a lot of ways. I I don't really worry about her that much. I, I respect the decisions that she's going to make. I don't worry that she's going to make a decision that's going to, you know, that I'm going to have to be trying to hope, get her not to make. Um, on the court, she's always saying Serena Williams. She's tenacious. She's got every shot. She, no matter what, you can't count, you can't bet against her. Venus, several players, Venus. several Just players. Hang on this guy and then you can. Sure. Several players have said that they can't even imagine the idea of playing against a sister on such a grand stage. What has it been like for you and for Serena, and what strain, if any, has it put on each of you as individuals? Well, I don't think a lot of players could imagine it. I think that a lot of players never have a sibling that's, you know, world class athlete and that you they also find themselves a world class athlete and that at the top of their game so that's a blessing in itself and I think you know if other people did find themselves in that situation I think that they would, would be happy for their sister or brother or their sibling because they really would want to see them do well and that they wouldn't want to see them have a tough loss or not win a match that they should have won or have a close loss or anything like that they'd want to see them go all the way and they would want to meet them. So it's really just about wanting the best for your sister and just really wanting to see her do well and, until she plays you, obviously. <laughs> but what, what factor in your mind is the fact that Serena beat you here the last two times you played in this situation? Um, of course, I respect her as a player more than anyone else on the tour. I think that's really the only factor that that goes into it. I, I actually do respect her 
as a player. Some, some have noted that, believe it or not, there's still a skepticism in some parts of the public in terms of one, one Williams sister plays another. And Elena Dementieva, if I have it correctly, just said that she felt the outcome of the final would be a result of a family decision. Could you talk to the public in terms of, of what happens when Venus plays Serena and whether there's any, any family decision, any discussion beforehand? Well, the, the main thing is that I find the question pretty offensive because I'm extremely professional in everything that I do on and off the court. And I, con I contribute my best in my sport. And I also have a ton of respect for myself and my family. So any mention of that is extremely disrespectful for who I am, what I stand for, and my family. So that's pretty much how I feel about the whole subject. I'm not sure Elena... I think I'm not language... talking about her. I'm talking oh, no, about the no. question. Yeah, I'm just explaining. I think Elena... I think he had it wrong, actually. I think Elena didn't understand it when she said, because she was talking very complimentary about both of you and then said it's going to be a family decision, meaning a family, that someone in the family is going to win. I didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe you read it differently. I just read, but I was here. And I think she, it was a language right. issue. I don't think she was saying that it I was I really don't. We need to move on from this subject because <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, she, right, that, guy the, that guy in the back there. Yes. Uh, speak? That one with the... Sure. Watch you, you, you Phoenix, it, uh, it's been five years since uh, you and Serena have been in the Grand Slam final, primarily because of health issues and, and, and what have you. I wonder if you take a moment and reflect on, on what it means, assuming she wins, of course, for the two of you to get on to the very top of the tennis world once again. <laughs> At this point, our main focus is obviously both of us getting to the final, and then from there, it's every Williams for themselves. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, our goal is just to be healthy. I think if we can be healthy, then we can, we can do well and, and continue to climb the rankings. So, of course, we, we believe that we can be on top, but we just have to keep our fingers crossed, keep working hard, and go for it. Is it ever awkward, is it ever awkward when you're playing your sister and... Like you said before, you don't want to see her down. You don't want to see her play poorly. If if your sister is all of a sudden playing poorly against you and you're creaming her, is that? Do you ever feel sad for her? Or do you feel like uh oh or no 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 not even when I was younger. No. So you you played her 15 times. Can you just talk about a couple of the moments or matches that most stand out for you? Um. Jeez, where did I start? You started in Australia in 98, and then you last played in Yeah, I, I mean, I remember the Australian Open just, you know, final. I, I really played as the best that I could, and she was just better. I mean, there was a few, there was a series of matches where I just, I couldn't, she was just better than I was at that point, on, you know, on that day. She was definitely on a high I had just came off of a couple of years of just winning everything, and I was tired. And then she had come off a couple of years of not winning everything, and she was more pumped. So it was kind of like this, you know, this kind of balance of her going up and me kind of being a little tired, a little burned out, probably. But you know, I think obviously playing here were some great finals, and I, I think some of my best memories are here. When, tomorrow night, when you have finished on the doubles court, will you go your separate ways? How, what, what will you do in the evening? No, we live together, so we'll go home together. <laughs> but, but even though you're living together, will you spend the, the whole night together tomorrow night? I mean, we, we both prepare in different ways. I um, usually read a book. She usually watches a, a video. <laughs> I mean, it's just the normal. Nothing... Just the same preparation. Do you say anything to each other right before? Like, you wish each other, is there something you always say to each other before you're going to play each other? No. I mean, at that point, there's no more advice. I'll, I'll give her advice for this match, but she's not going to say, okay, now make sure that you play my forehand because, you know, my wrist has been hurting and, you know, none of that. Can you imagine having a career? I'm entertaining post semifinal press conference from Venus Williams. Patrick, a couple of things, and most notably, Venus absolutely bristling at the suggestion that 
the results are, are predetermined or it's a quote family decision when you place, place Serena taking offense and saying that's a huge insult to my professionalism and and swatting that one aside. Good for her. Yeah. You know, I thought she handled it really well and I also think that something may literally have been lost in the translation because the Dementieva speaking Russians her natural language she could have said you know it may not be when she says family decision she means it could just be decided by the sisters but I thought Venus handled it perfectly she was offended by it I'm offended by it and I think that that they're going to go out there assuming Serena gets through and wins and, and try their butts off and try to win. And they've both proven so much as champions. They've both won majors. Uh, and, and, and let's hope they play a great match. I mean, I think the one thing missing between the two is they haven't really played that one match that we really remember as a great one. They both played exceptional tennis so far up until this point. And you hope that continues. Well, here's what Dementieva said. Uh, you know, is it an all-Williams final? How do you see it? She was just asked to kind of mm -hmm. predict a winner. And she said, quote, I mean, if they're going to play against each other, I don't know what to say. I cannot imagine myself playing against someone from my family. It's really hard. For sure, it's going to be a family decision. Now, again, it, it's hard to... It's hard to know exactly what she meant. Her, yeah. yeah, it's hard to know what she meant. But I, I would be surprised if she meant what was insinuated by the question to right. her. And, and obviously, this is, you know, th this is floated around in years past. She's not the first one. No, it, no, it's no. been a cynical suggestion. Yes. People come up and ask you. They sure. ask me when they played because it is such an impossible situation to imagine. I mean, you know, Venus has lost five Grand Slam finals to Serena. If not for Serena, you know, Venus would would have a lot more of them and would be talked about perhaps even in a different stratosphere than she is now. Well, I wasn't nearly at the level that my yes. brother was as a player, right? But I can guarantee you that there was no talking before the match. My brother wanted to whip my butt every time he went out there. But okay, and I think and I think they're closer, obviously, in age, and they're closer also in ability. Uh, but I think they both want to win. They're both great competitors. And, and as I said, I think they've won enough. They've been there enough. And, and I just hope that they go out there and play, play their best tennis at the same time. I think that would be fun to see. Can you imagine sharing a house with your brother, John, if you guys were getting set to play in a grand slam <laughs> final and trying to happily coexist and share breakfast that and might be tough that might be difficult. Uh, the house no. might get really really small yeah that, in could that be situation difficult. well i would just say hey if i could have been that even thought about getting that far in a grand slam it would have been nice but if you uh, denied him five or six slam titles would, would you guys be as loving as friendly as they are is absolutely chris uh, that's, that's <laughs>